हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन इट्स मे सुशील ठाकुर कंप्यूटर टीचर्स आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू इन ऑनलाइन क्लासेस ऑर्गेनाइज्ड बाय मोनास्टिक सेकेंड इंग्लिश बोर्डिंग स्कूल टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस डाटाबेस मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम सम ऑफ द टॉपिक्स already i have discussed in earlier session in first session from there i will continue today in next session so next part we have that is next common terms some common terms previous days i have discussed about the data information database features of database types of database and their differences between manual database and computerized database today our topic is continue common terms topic is database system so all of you are knowing that as as i have discussed about the database the database is an organized collection of data that is used for used to share and multi used for multiple purposes in which database is an organized collection of data then where to organize where to organize it needs the central place no so where we will work about the database that central place is called database system you can see here a way of gathering together a specific pieces of relevant information that helps to store and maintain that information in a certain place is called database system so where for everywhere no there is one in central place on organized places there will work about the database so that too, place is called database system similarly we have the next topics database management system database management system abbreviation there dbms means short form dbms database management system now to organize the computerized database to manage the computerized database it needs the special software as we know that computer works in with the help of software the stored program needs for the computer for every purpose each and every purpose so for same as to manage the database it needs the special software database packages that package is called that software is called database management system dbms so this is the very important software for the office management in modern system dbms is a software that manages database such as to store modify update organize and retrieve information from database what we can do in dbms you can share we can store large amount of data for future retrieval for future purpose that stored data later on we can modify if if any changes required then we can modify that we can change later on if we will add the new one data then that will allows to allow to update also easily we can organize that because that there is a ready made software for each and every work there is a ready made software that software help us to organize easily and it drive that stored information for future 
any times we can detract that we can open that there are some common examples of dbms database management system which is generally in use ms access oracle dbs there are different version of dbs dbs3 dbs4 similarly foxpro foxbase cbase paradox spss clipper sql server rbase ims ids idms om nis etc these are the things to learn for multiple choice questions for objective questions these are the examples very important among these examples in our syllabus means class test syllabus neb syllabus m ms access given so from practical topics mentioned in ms access so what are the features of dbms you can see here features of dbms first it allows to store large amount of data easily is more huge amount of data we can store into the computer system related to dbms it allows to update delete manipulate the stored data description you have already seen what are the information what are the record stored into the computer that can easily access retrieve modify and unnecessary record can be delete easily next we have it helps for easy and faster retrieval of stored data this easily we can see easily first we can see what are the records any time immediately you can search any of the records so you can see the example you can take the example anywhere you are going either you go in bank telephone office where electric office anywhere you are going to pay the bill then your record is there your customer id is their account number is while enters that account number or customer id or customer name then from huge records from mass records retrieving immediately so it helps for easy and faster retrieval of stored data next we have it helps for sorting and indexing data sorting what is sorting means what does sorting means so sorting arranging the data arranging the data either in ascending order or descending order for faster retrieval that is called sorting indexing also similar to the sorting indexing help for the sorting record arranging the record so sorted data can be can be seen easily next point we have it allows backup of recovery mechanism backup system computer system as the backup system backup huge amount of data we can store separate important place for future reinstallation for future retrieval that is backup recovery means if anyway any where problem any data corrupted then we can recover later on next point we have 
it does not allow to store duplicate record imagine data redundancy data redundancy it has a provision to stop the repeated storage of data repeated enter, entering of data next point we have it allows data validation facility validation criteria system we can supply we can apply the validation rule for the data entry if we want to protect the data we want to give the precaution of wrong data entry then easily you can set their validity validation rules so it allows data validation facility next it provides high data security facility so means any of the database administrator does not want to retrieve the records by the unauthorized people then you can set easily can set the security many of the system is there it provides data sharing facilities easily you can share one system to another one person to another person recorded database once you will record the data you want to share to the other organization or for multiple organization then easily we can share it helps to keep latest and correct information that is data consistency means finally regular update data updated data finally we can store that is called data consistency same as next terms we have rdbm yes relational database management system this is the modified database system it has the facilities to create the relationship between one table to another means one table can be shared for with the multiple tables such types of database system is called relational database management system in all database means previous uh, database in all the, everywhere there was not the facilities to create the relationship between one table to another table but which is the updated version of the database that is rdbms it has the facilities we can create the relationship and after creating the relationship that can be share one one table database table to another database table see the definition here rdbms is a widely used dbms that helps to view or retrieve information from several separate linked database related to keywords or value so any of particular data you want to see which is linked with uh, different multiple tables so easily we can see in rdb ms such types of facilities was not in the previous database management system it allows the user to use more than one table is together we can create in single database we can create multiple table for multiple purposes also for same purposes as well as multiple purposes examples ms access oracle sql server etc 
नेक्स्ट टॉपिक्स वी हैव डाटाबेस एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर टू डू सच टाइप्स ऑफ एक्टिविटीज टू परफॉर्म सच टाइप्स ऑफ टास्क इट नीड द स्पेशल स्किल्ड मैन पावर वन द रिस्पांसिबल पर्सन दैट रिस्पांसिबल पर्सन दैट स्किल्ड मैन पावर हु नोज एवरीथिंग डिटेल्स अबाउट द डेटाबेस how to manage how to manipulate what is the cost how to solve their problems such types of key person is known as database administrator means that administrator complete responsible person the main responsible person who knows about the types of data means which types of data will use which types of data will enter coding mechanism means enter then how to enter what is the system because different data use for different works methods of removing non relevant data there are some unnecessary data also so how to remove that unnecessary data platform required for processing in which system because all system every system every dbms may not support so in which system which dbms will support that also the person who is responsible for the administrator they must have the knowledge about the platform interrelationship among the database interrelationship between different tables is known as database administrator so there are given some points not only this each and every problem solving troubleshooting related to the database management system means software such types of data must have in the database administrator at last we have the topics database application we are knowing that without software without computer program there will not perform any types of task so which types of task you will perform which types of task you needs according to that we have to install their respective softwares desired softwares so we are working about the database so database software database management software is required for that such types of software application software is called database application you might be studied there are two types of software system software and database application software means system software and application software so application software are there variety of application variety of softwares are the available so which types of application which types of work you will do according to that software requires so for manage the database to manage the database it need the database application software a program that helps to retrieve view and update the information stored by dbms is called database application so in this session only this much more continue i will come in next session for today only this much thank you